All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Patricia, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> That's my woman. I don't appreciate this, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And Trish, what's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? What's the meaning of what you're doing with this guy? Please get in the car. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you, Trisha. Don't walk away from me. Dude, don't start. I'm not in the mood right what now. What do you mean? You, you cheated on me. Cheated on you? How? So I'm not allowed to have friends because I'm dating you. Dude, I'm in a relationship. I'm not in a prison. There's a difference between having friends and entertaining every single guy that comes your way. I've told you I don't like it. That's it. Come on, Raymond. Until you put a ring on my finger, that is when you have the opportunity to tell me what to do and what not to do. What's that supposed to mean, Trish? Exactly what you heard. If you want to possess me so badly, put a ring on my finger. I'm not scared of you one bit. Go ahead. Tell Raymond, and let's see how your friendship will be when he finds out that you killed his woman. You're just a I never said I was a son. See, I know you still want my cookie. You want it so, so bad. And that's the reason why you're angry because I have refused to give it to you again. Pathetic. Hey, baby boy. Who was that? Who was who? Who is the man that dropped you in front of my house at this hour? Uh, that's a friend. So wait, your friends are now dropping you off at the house, my house? Would you have preferred he dropped me on the road? Don't be rude to me. What's that tone? I'm asking a simple question. Grandma, please don't start with me right now. I'm not in the mood. Why would you ever have respect for me and this woman? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't understand you anymore. Are you saying I cannot have friends anymore? Dude, we are not even married. So why are you policing me? Why are you cheating on me? What kind of question is this? Are you okay? If you are cheating on me, I promise you, you don't like what I will do to you. Oh, please. Women, I am not scared of you. I don't understand you. Before you met me, I had friends. I had male friends, plenty of them. So what are you saying? Huh? You want to change my life now for me? Are you really asking me these questions? Yes, I am asking you this question. I will keep as many friends as I like and you will not do anything. If you hate it so much, break up with me and see how I take all my clients with me. Nonsense. All right, so let's talk about this one on Common Love. And this, this kind of feels, uh, I don't know. It's crazy when, you know, uh, you see a couple that are supposed to be cool, but, you know, one person is loving with all their hearts and the other person just doesn't give a hoot, you know. And I guess it's more obvious when one person feels like they are doing something for the other. And because of that, they can act anyhow or do anyhow. And, you know, worst case scenario, break up with me and, you know, then something else will scatter because they know they are doing something. Yeah, it's hurtful to see that because in this scenario, you can see that the guy was really trying to stay hind in the right direction. By the way, let's actually talk about this. You know, you may have been doing anything that you may have been doing when you are single. You know, when you get into a committed relationship, some of those things have to stop. You know, you might meet a man that is not okay with you having 100 men as besties. You know, you could meet a guy that doesn't like that you keep late nights or that you're a club freak. Or, you know, the fact that you were doing it before you met them doesn't mean that what you're doing is good. You know, it might just mean that nobody was checkmating you at that time because, you know, you were single. So you were your own court and you are your own judge. So you get to do what you want, you know, but when you get into some of these relationships, you got to really be willing to adjust. And those adjustments are usually for the better. It's not like uh, somebody will see something good that you are doing and tell you to stop doing it. It's always those bad things that, you know, the other partner will complain about. So definitely, you know, once you start these relationships, it's always good to kind of like, you know, have an open mind towards what's right and what's not. 
you know you might not know that is wrong but you know if somebody keeps pointing at it and you know telling you this is why it's not right maybe you should just kind of sit down boom we'll meeting call yourself to a meeting solo meeting and you know discuss what you are doing and how it's actually impacting the relationship and the crazy thing about this scenario is that the girl in question even slept with the friend so I don't even know where to start with this. You know, I don't want to generalize and say that when people are always shouting and backing about, uh, you know, something they did that they you are, you are calling them out on, you know, that, that most of the time is right. I don't want to really say that because it's not, you know, but in this case, it is. And the bottom line is not really about what she did with the friend. It's just her whole attitude towards the relationship. It was practically borderline shitty. And... At the end, you guys can see that it's because she brought some clients that were, you know, patronizing the guy's business. But is that really enough for you to start misbehaving in relationships? Like even when the guy is talking, you can see this guy is, you know, pouring these things out with emotion and she practically doesn't care. If you don't like it, break up with me. Like when somebody starts saying that, you know, you really got to evaluate what you're doing with them because... You know, people that really want to be in a relationship don't make those kind of statements. You know what you have to do, you know, break up me, with me if you don't like what I'm doing. You know, when they start saying that thing, you know, maybe it's time to just bail, you know, because, you know, half the time, you know, when they make those statements, you know, they make it from a place of disdain, you know. It's like they don't really care anymore. No, they don't care. And if somebody doesn't care, really, what are you really still doing with them? See, one thing about this life is that everybody is replaceable. Everybody, a guy, a girl. Now, here's the thing about being replaceable. Some people could be replaced overnight and some people cannot. But everybody is still replaceable. Just know your worth. Know your value. And, you know, don't let... A relationship give you high blood pressure especially when he hasn't even got to marriage yet you know you know you might love this person with all your heart but if you see that they constantly are violating the relationship then you need to really evaluate what you're doing there you know evaluate if this is the person and you know sometimes it's funny when these kind of things happen and a girl would come out and be like, I was with him for like six years and then he up and married somebody else. You know, what you don't fail to hear is how shitty they have been for that six years. You know, because they just keep throwing the number of years, but they don't talk about the quality of those years. You could be with somebody for eight years, but that whole eight years was just them managing the headache that you were giving them do you think they will marry you really like is that where you thought it was heading just because it was eight years no it's not you know sometimes you know you you might feel like the good you're doing outweighs the bad but you know this these things are subjective you might think so but the person in question your partner doesn't think so you know i urge both parties in, in every relationship you know to you know, put your mind, put your heart into what you're doing. You know, don't be the nonchalant partner. Don't be the partner that keeps throwing that word. If you don't like it, you can leave, you know. And if you're in a relationship where you keep hearing that, if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> Madam, I'm telling you, Oga, it's better you leave because that person doesn't, you know, the value that they accord to you might not be matching what you bring to the table. Like I was saying, is if everybody is replaceable, but everybody cannot be replaced at the same pace, you know, maybe you're dealing with a girl that's a good girl and it might take you a longer time to find another good girl. But then good girl is relative because if they're a good girl in one aspect, but they are shitty in so many other aspects, are they really still a good girl? You know, and if we're talking about a guy, you might be somebody that's maybe financially stable. And yes, you can meet another person that's financially stable. But would it be immediately? Would it be somebody that loved you as much as the other person? So there's pros and cons to this whole you know, being disposable or you know, being indispensable, depending on how you're looking at it. But the bottom line is that everybody can be replaced, you know, and 
whether it takes you you know a month or it takes you a year to find the next person you know it all depends on what you're really looking for in a man or in a woman you know so i really based on everything that we can see in that particular movie i really urge people to know when it's time to exit you know know when it's time to you know get out of your relationship you know because the longer you stay there the longer you become the fool you know and it's not healthy it's not healthy it's not healthy for your peace of mind it's not healthy for your sanity and it's not even healthy in general for the relationship because it's a one-sided relationship from that point onwards that's about it for this one guys if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow this is cj from magnetic studios and i'm here to deliver sense